Welcome to Up on the Wire podcast, a dive into the process of journalism and behind the scenes of the stories you see on RagingWire.com. I'm here with Raging Wire reporter Princess Bolden to discuss her latest story on RagingWire.com about the trend of students gravitating towards restaurants with religious theming. Did I get that right, Princess? Um, pretty much, yeah. So what was this article about that you wrote on Raging Wire? So for this article, I focus mainly on how I've noticed personally um, a lot of UL students that are like starting to spend their free time at different coffee shops in the local community. And these coffee shops are owned by Christians, you know, so they have like Christian owners. Um, And so my angle was, what is it that gets them to go there? Right. So like, do they know that it's owned by Christians? And was that something you were noticing or is it something like you may have heard from someone else about you know christians are owning coffee shops and there's this theming that's going on and students are kind of going more towards those coffee shops so is that something more of like you noticed so it was me and of course sometimes i think i'm like okay maybe i notice things and i'm like okay i don't know if this is like a thing or not so I asked around different people um, and they said that they noticed the same things I asked people that I know that are believers that are Christian um, I asked people that I know who aren't and they all go to the same place as mm-hmm. well like different places um, but the main place is like Rev downtown Lafayette and so they all told me like yeah we go there a lot you know so it wasn't just me it was like people around me as well and those people around you, is that kind of what made you want to cover this event? Like letting other people know what's going on with this trend? Or is it something that you personally wanted to cover? Um, it's something that I wanted to tackle because I noticed it um, actually a long time ago before writing this article. And so I noticed that it was something that never changed, right? Like it kept um, being something that was consistent mm. and so I said well why not tackle this you know and like show other people like this is a thing because we don't really think about like coffee and Christianity right like going together at all and so I thought let me bring this <clears throat> new perspective to readers yeah because I mean usually when you go to the coffee shop you just get coffee yeah right? Right. Uh, but it's an interesting angle with Christianity because you never really think about it I don't think a lot of people maybe notice that there are these things going on right. in these restaurants. So you interviewed some students, you interviewed the owner of Rev Coffee Roasters. Can you explain mm-hmm. the process of, you know, just getting the interviews for the story and why why did you choose the two students that you did? Why did you choose, you know, the owner yeah. of Rev Coffee Roasters? Yeah, for sure. So um, I initially went to Rev because like when axing around to people, that's the place that they mainly went, right? So to find these people, like I went to the place. I went to Rev, I went to other coffee shops. Um, I went to campus grounds in the middle of campus. um, And I talked to people there and I just decided like, hey, let's do this. And they were down to do it too. You know, like they thought it was very interesting because a lot of them never really thought about it, you know? And so the process of going there, getting the interviews, it was just like, stepping out, right? Like putting yourself in that environment in order to like understand it and really relate to them in a sense. And religion for some people is kind of hard to outwardly yeah. speak about. Yeah, so for sure. That's great that you got, you know, these two students outwardly speaking about, you know, going to yeah. these restaurants about religion. I mean, is mm-hmm. that something that you thought of maybe this was going to be a difficult thing to talk about you know mm-hmm. with religion relating to restaurants or coffee shops yeah definitely because i feel like religion is a very um sensitive topic right like especially not wanting to offend anyone right in their beliefs or what they don't believe in and so at first honestly i was like do i really want to do this you know and then i thought why not you know like it's difficult but i like challenges and so i decided to do it um, and they were actually very open. And so I made it to where they were comfortable to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And so um, having like a one-on-one conversation, making the interview not so much like formal, right? Like a very informal process. And so just talking to them, letting them say like whatever was on their heart, asking questions to kind of like get them thinking, you know? 
Yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah, making them feel comfortable, especially with a topic that you're covering, is important yeah. when it comes to this kind of story. So you focus on Rev Coffee Roasters. Mm -hmm. It's downtown Lafayette. Oh, what's the atmosphere like over there, and how does a re how does religion play a factor in the restaurant? So um, from my experience, and as well as like other people that I've talked to, Rev is very um, inclusive, and so like going there and people are very friendly like when i walk through the door i have friends and they like they say hey you know and like we sit down at the bar like we drink coffee and even um people that i don't know like i've actually made friends like going in there and just sitting in there you know and so i feel like it's a very um a good environment for students to go there like even meet other ul students because there is a lot um, of students there's actually a very big variety of people that go there mm -hmm. um and so i feel like the atmosphere like it's just it's one where you can be open right so i've seen i've gone there i've seen people have like bible studies um, i've seen people have like faith forums and um they've had open discussions on oh i believe god is real or i believe god isn't right so like there's people who have two totally different beliefs but like they're still bonding in a sense over a cup of coffee and so like seeing that and like realizing okay this is something that is important it's something that we don't really think about you know yeah that's fascinating that the conversations are happening in that coffee shop yeah is it, is it because that atmosphere is so inviting and just f makes you feel open to want to talk about these kind of things and is that yeah. a, like a point of emphasis for the owner uh nathaniel johnson i Mm -hmm. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But yeah, no, Johnson. yeah, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Nathaniel good. Johnson. So mm -hmm. was that a point of emphasis for Johnson to really make people feel comfortable there talking about this kind of thing? Well, I had an interview with him. He's a great guy, just off the bat, very um, friendly. And when talking to him, he was saying, like, it's not his goal to, like, push like his beliefs on anyone right like his goal is to set a good environment for anyone like whatever they believe in um and so like I interviewed him and he actually said that when I asked him if he feels that his business is inclusive or exclusive he said that it was inclusive for sure right and he said that it's open for everybody and anybody and then he goes on to say we are a business and we will conduct ourselves as so and I feel like that's very important because there's a balance, right? Like he has his beliefs, but he also knows like we are a business. And so we will run like a business, right? Like we're open to yeah. anyone and everybody. And so I feel like if, I feel like for him, um, I don't want to speak for him, but just from his vibe and like talking to him that he wants people to like be open, right? Like that's the goal. You don't want people to like come into your business and they're like, Oh, I don't like it here. I feel like I can't be myself. You know, like you're not gonna stay there if that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. And so, um, he's wise in like picking his workers and like um, even the scenery, right? Like he has art all over the place. It just makes you feel like comfy, right? Like you can be open with people. Yeah, and you don't want to shut off another side to people. I mean, with religion, right? right? Because um, this quote: "We are not a Christian coffee shop. We're a coffee shop owned by Christians." So yeah. just not shutting off anybody else just being inclusive that, that that's something right. that i think that he believes in and yeah. tries to portray with his restaurant so you know students don't take offense to johnson is that kind of the feel that you have they don't really take offense to just saying like you know we're not a christian coffee shop but we will be open about that we are christian you don't think students take offense to that i actually don't think they take offense at all especially because like he says like he doesn't push it down people's throat I actually don't think that a lot of students realize that he is because he's not like, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm going to like treat you this way or that way. Right. Like he doesn't do that. He's just like, I love you no matter what. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I want you to come in here no matter what. And so I don't think they take offense to it at all, especially because like a lot of people don't know, honestly. Yeah, and that's something that you observed and you talked about with people yeah. and you just decide to dive into this trend. Did you notice? You know, this kind of religious theming is happening in, in other places in Lafayette. Um, and is religious theming in restaurants, I think, happening around that area? So um, when I looked into, like, other coffee shops, it was, like, um, different ones, but no one really, like, 
I guess in a sense knew if the owners were believers or not, right? And so like me personally, I actually like know people who know Nathaniel, right? Like I know people who um, are around him or like even the students that I talk to, like they notice um, him or his habits or like traits that he has and they're like okay like he's he obviously has like a moral standard right or something mm-hmm. that like sets him apart in a sense um but i don't know if it's so much a theme to be honest um i haven't really seen it in many places but i do know like some people who are like in some coffee shops like they are believers but again it's not like um i'm gonna push this on you right yeah. it's like this is just who I am, like, you know? Yeah, and do you think students kind of base that inviting and, you know, almost kind of religious theming in Rev Coffee Roasters, is that something the students go to for Rev? Is that in that open environment that's there? Um, I don't know, what did you gather from when you interviewed the students that you did? Well, when talking to them, what really stuck out, um, they just felt like, very, like you said, inviting. So they never mentioned like, oh, I like it because it's religious, right? Mm-hmm. Like that was never um, a thing. It was like, okay, this gives me a warm feeling when I walk in. Like these, especially um, the baristas, like they make themselves um, personal to people, right? To the customers. They're very intentional with um, getting to know them, getting to know their orders and stuff like that. Like I talked to um, Jada Washington and she was saying like when she walks in, to um one of the coffee shops and campus grounds because rev works with campus grounds as well Mm -hmm. um and so when she walks in there like these people they know her order like they know that she can't take a certain type of milk right like they know her right they ask her about her day and so it's the the warm feeling that they get when they walk into the room like the presence right Mm -hmm. it's like just amazing right it's like it makes you comfortable yeah so I wouldn't say it's so much like a religious thing that they like realize at first, mm-hmm. um, but it is like a warm feeling, right? Yeah, and that's interesting because I mean you did observe it, and in observing it, and in diving into this trend that that's happening, mm-hmm. what's kind of the conclusion that you draw from the story that you did? Um, I think that I think that majority of students um, want to feel welcomed, like wherever you go right like we all have that that craving right to like feel belonged in a sense and so I feel like we're all college students we're away from home and so like these places they create like a home for us you know like they create a place for us to feel welcomed um to get to know people to hang out and stuff like that and so I feel like the conclusion is like these certain um places make us feel at home in a sense like they make us feel warm like not like other places right because there's a reason that they go to rev there's a reason that they go to these other places it's because they feel welcome right right like they create a certain type of aura for people yeah that sense of belonging yeah Yeah. that's great um well that is all for this episode of up on the wire thank you awesome thank you that was great i'm sorry i didn't get the denim jacket uh (laughs) memo that everyone in this room seems to be rocking so (laughs) Yeah, um, sorry about that, but thank you for thank you, coming Liz. on the podcast, joining me and talking about coffee, religion, for sure, sense of belonging, yes, you know, auras, all yes. that. Um, good. <laughs> you can check out the story on RagingWire.com. Remember to stay up to date and stay on the wire. RagingWire.com. <laughs>